Hey, this is Anon Black of Putario Pretty Anon, and this is Yoshigo Kera Chapter 40 Summary. For those of you who just want an update, translations are complete, Gray is cleaning, chapter should be at late Sunday at most, if not Saturday night. So we use East Coast time, so just keep that in mind. So I took some time out studying for Psych, which I pretty much don't need to study for, but I probably should do so anyways, to translate the chapter and just see what's going on. What the F? So Amitarase and Ikuto go down the elevator. Ikuto remarks that he's never really seen Gozen, and nobody has. They get down into Gozen's chamber and pull back the curtain to discover a voice changing device. Then Kisaki finds a hidden past his way and they storm through it to see Taiyaki Boy. <laughs> Director's hanging with him, the kid's got the embryo in his hand, which is losing its sparkle. The kid throws it away after it stops shining, declaring it to be born in LOL. Amun Tadase and Ikuto get caught in three cages the second they try to grab the embryo, and the villain starts monologuing. The kid's name turns out to be Hikaru. The only reason he wants the embryo is to complete his collection of pretty rocks. Yep. That's why everything has been going on from chapter 1, because a 6 year old kid doesn't have enough pretty rocks in his collection. This is what you get, Easter, for putting a kid in charge of a big organization. Well anyways, the kid says some pretty pimp stuff to the director, then decides that he wants a special black egg that was controlling Ikuto. The big idiot director takes his pimp's orders and tries to get it, but the thing explodes with a bunch of negative energy. All the rocks fall off the shelves and the boy's like, oh snap, but the director saves him. The kid pushes him away and scrambles after his rocks, which are all pretty much broken. Tadase comments that their energy is the egg is multiplying and they're all doomed, but then Ikuto plays some pretty music with his non-purple violin and makes it calm down. Hikaru keeps going on and on about how he doesn't want either egg now that they're boring, but Ami yells at him that the embryo isn't just a pretty rock. Tsukasa somehow shows up and explains what the embryo is, and says he's returned for the missing page of the picture book. Remember the gang brought that along in chapter 33 because Tsukasa told them it was the lucky end of the day, well, just as planned. Flashback, Tsugasa and Hikaru are gathering pebbles from chapter 36, pages 14 through 16. Hikaru's parents are dead and he doesn't seem to care. He has to be learned to become a good leader, he says, and doesn't need to miss them at all. Tsukasa gives him the picture book, and he rips out the page that's missing, claiming that whatever was on it was worthless and is just a pipe dream, which means it's just a silly wish, more or less. End flashback, Kid claims he knows nothing about the book or the page. Tsukasa begs to differ. He says Hikaru's heart is empty. Cliffhanger leaves off with, let me tell Hikaru's story. Well, there you go. Chapter should be out May 3rd. Next chapter comes out June 3rd. Thanks to Cooking and Guardian's Wish for the scans, and thanks to you for listening. I love you.